This video will help you create the script for your promotional videos. And from the outset, I want to emphasize that you shouldn't just skip the scripting process because you feel you already know what you want to say. Now, I'm Bruce McBride and I'm focused on teaching you how to easily produce your effective promotional videos. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to plan your video. I've produced over 400 videos here on YouTube and each one has had a script. So the principal value of a script is to focus your mind, starting with a list of things to get your mind working and that avoids that dreaded writer's cramp. It need not be extensive or detailed, but you do need to at least to have a rough plan to get your mind on track to ensure the filming and editing is effective. Jumping in and doing it by ear is unlikely to get all the necessary content into your video, and it'll be certainly haphazard. So at least do the following. Think of the idea for your video and give it a title. What are your goals? Know your audience. How long? What's the hook? Be concise. What's the call to action? Thinking of how you came up with the idea for the video and giving it a title will cement that idea and focus it in your thinking. What are your goals for the video? What is it going to achieve for your business? Who's your audience? You'll know that from the last tutorial. And if you missed it, click the eye above because that knowledge is a make or break for any business. How long will the video be? The length of your video is paramount and it's determined by your goals. I've pinpointed three types of promotional videos based on length and discuss these in separate tutorials as they involve quite different approaches. And first is the short 30 to 60 second advertisement. The second, an informational video. And the third, the instructional tutorial type of video. Keep in mind that three minutes runtime is what's recognized as the most that our instant gratification society will watch in any one sitting. And this could be longer for instructional in-house videos, though. Of course, the watch time will be a lot less if the content doesn't grab your audience. Remember, content is king. It's more important than how the production looks. That's why you should have researched your audience and be publishing in places they will be active in. So to say it again, compelling content, well presented, in a logical sequence, will hold audiences for much longer. And now the hook. The hook will be different depending on which of the three types of videos I outlined before. And there's more on that later in this tutorial. Whatever you do, be concise. And finally, what's the call to action? Will it encourage clicks to your website? Have you asked for the sale? And don't be too forceful, but at least encourage some further action. What I've discussed so far may be enough for you to get started, and it'll all depend on your particular skills in talking to the camera and your editing knowledge. If you feel comfortable in front of a microphone and the camera, then go for it. If you decide to jump in, then I suggest you write with bullet points. Go for it and check out my next tutorial whether you should record face to camera or just as a voiceover. Otherwise, if you like the rest of us, you should consider the following. Writing things down. The outline. Introduce yourself. The hook. Write as you speak rather than you would write a book. Take some breaks for the subconscious to provide you some free ideas. Make it short and snappy. Use visual images and include every word and leave it to mature overnight. Writing things down can help focus the mind and this will then automatically lead to developing the outline. I always write a list of topics before I start. It's a brainstorm session. This will then give you the subheadings so your script will progress from one section to the next nice and smoothly. 
you should introduce yourself. But the 30 to 60 second advertisement is unlikely to require a personal introduction. Whatever, don't spend too much time talking about yourself, just the basics. You're trying to create a bond with your audience, not trying to be the best of buddies. And the hook. Tell the audience what they will learn in the video. This is the hook. It's aimed at keeping your audience watching. And the hook will be different depending on those different videos that I outlined, as I said before. In fact, a 30-second advertisement is most likely just the hook and a call to action. Whatever, the hook will be best as the first thing in a short video. That's to gain attention. Remember, first impressions count and the punchier the better. In the other two types of videos, the hook should preferably have a comment that will keep them watching until the end of the video. Say something like, I'll explain that at the end of the video. It's also a good idea to keep adding hooks throughout the video. Keep suggesting things that are about to come up, like, in a minute I'll explain that. Write conversationally. Draft the script as if you're talking rather than writing. Write in the script, I'm about to, rather than, I am about to, and it'll be easier to say in front of the camera. Take a break from time to time. That's a course without disturbing the creative juices. Have a cup of tea. Your subconscious will continue working to give you ideas for free. Keep sentences short and snappy, and need I say more? And think about the visual illustrations that you'll add as video images to be displayed while you're talking. And these need to relate to the subject matter, and they're known as B-roll. You can see B-roll on screen now. And when you talk about the B-roll on screen, refer to it directly. In this pie chart, shown here, and that's while the chart is on screen, use every word when you're writing a full script. Write every single word, It'll keep you focused when you're filming. Of course, this doesn't apply to those jumping in and using bullet points. Leave it to mature overnight. Unless you press for time to get the video up urgently, it's best to save the file and come back the next day, or at least overnight. You'll see things in a different light and with fresh eyes. And that's because it's easier to get too close to the script when you're writing it. And you'll be much more objective when you've been away for a while. Besides, your subconscious will have had a time to dwell overnight and come up with those free ideas. Ask a friend to review. There are pros and cons in having someone close to you preview your script. I find they tend to look at the grammar and the spelling mistakes rather than the content. And this could be useful if you're doing a written blog, but less useful when you're reading for the script in front of a camera. And remember what I said about being conversational and suiting your way of speaking. What app should I be using with the script? Any text editor will do. Google Docs, Word or Text Edit. And if you want a professional script editor at no cost, look at Highland 2. I use this because it's got a sidebar that shows the subject's heading, letting me jump to those different headings while I'm writing the script. I've used Highland for most of my 400 video tutorials on YouTube. And as a final tip, most importantly, think of how the content in your script will encourage your audience to go to your web page. As I've said before, your web page is your shop, whether it's got e-commerce or not. Just as you'd want your physical shop to look attractive and inviting, do the same for your web page. And once you've completed the script, you can then paste it into the free teleprompter. Just copy and paste, and you're off and running. I'll tell you about that and where to get it in the next video, where I discuss whether you film face to camera or just as a voiceover. I'm here to help, so if you need assistance on a specific topic, I offer free support via email for urgent issues as you're confronted with them. Click the I above for my free support website. Otherwise, let me know in the comments below about topics that you struggle with, and I'd be happy to produce a YouTube video to help you solve those issues. And don't forget, I'm also available for one-on-one -on -one training. There's various training courses available on my website.
Thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, and press the bell.